What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Servant King TV here on the Servant Real. Well, I interview business owners, uh, nonprofits, everybody, man, anybody that's out trying to do something different and push the narrative and push the culture forward. And today, I'm joined by my man, Joseph Andrews. What's going on, bro? What's happening, man? I appreciate you for having me. Nah, appreciate I, you for having me. I appreciate you joining me, bro. Um, Man, you know... We we got to talk business, man. You know what I mean. And, 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 and you and you and you and you in a uh, you in a, a special realm of business that I think a lot of us uh, need to hear more about. But before I go there, um, so kind of tell me tell me where you from, bro. Uh, so I'm like I say, I'm Joseph Andrews, man. I'm from North Side of Jacksonville. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, is where I'm turning late for us. I'm late for us. Okay, okay. I'm a um. I'm a I'm a corner store boy. Stay up, stay up. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm your average. I'm 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 not, I can't even say I'm your average, but man, um, I come from what what a lot of people understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, just right. a I'm a I'm everything. I'm the vessel. I'm the right. pioneer for the hood. That's yeah. what I am, and so not even just for the hood, but for the community, for my right. people. You been um you been here in the city your whole life? I'd have been here. Uh, my mama, I, I done been, my mama used to stay in Louisiana for a little bit. I done been there for about two, three years, three years, maybe four years. Okay. Like, except broke up, right, right, I think, right, three right, years. Right, right. Um, I play, I've been to college. I played ball in Minnesota. Straight up. Um, and then. So you done seen all of that. Yeah, I done been on, I been on. The thing that changed my life was the aspects of my life. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? My views changed my view. Right, absolutely, absolutely. So before we get into to the business, what what were some of those views? G give me some of your first views, and then some of the views that changed the views that made you say, "Okay, we I, I want to step into business," and then we'll get into the business that you're in. <clears throat> well, honestly, I feel like I always been. I mean, I always feel like I've been in like in a form of like business mm. because I was like a sole proprietor. Right, right, right. For yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it for yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like. People ain't never really, like, I had jobs, but jobs just, they weren't cutting it. And I'm, like, strong on kind of, like, how I be feeling when mm -hmm. I feel about certain things. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, my few times I had a job, like I say, ain't like I don't work hard or something. It's just, right, 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 right. they always treat me just differently. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Off the yeah. scruff, I was just a little different. Yeah. And anybody, you know what I'm saying, I always come off where I get my utmost respect. I don't even, we could be the same, we could be, we both can be sitting here and just because mm -hmm. I may seem like this. Without no gold teeth, without nothing, just right, regular. Right, yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can just be that, and they go already just. Assume. It's just gonna be some yeah, extra yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna always. Yeah. They go look at me over you. Like yeah. that's just how they go do it. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just always been like that. So yeah. I always just been. Just kind of like pushing forward. Yeah. Like I used to um, in in the beginning of my time, like my teenage, like. Based off how I came up, like we ain't really had too many positive influence. Everybody else was like major yeah. players in the street. Yeah. Uh -huh. So my uncle, I used to, um, I used to follow behind my uncle trail. My dad hadn't went to prison, so uh -huh. my uncle had to step up to the plate while he was gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, he had to did his thing. Um, my uncle, he had to be in the started out being a firefighter, oh, EMT, okay, okay. and right okay. when he passed, he had to just got his certificate to be a nurse. Okay. He had to die of cancer at the age of 33. You know what I'm saying? That was like my first introduction of a true tragedy. Right. Like they kind of keep it away from. That was like a mentor. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? When I was in school, That's I was young too, bro. I yeah, I was young. Yeah, and it was like fast, and he was one of the healthiest people. Like right. he can run miles. Right. Like you know what I'm what saying? Type of cancer it was. It was like some type of blood cancer. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And they came, man. I came back from school, man. I go, I pull up, man. I, I see the truck. I'm screaming, I'm crying over there. <laughs> I'm happy to see him. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be so happy right, to see him. Right, right. I go inside, man. He look like hell, boy. You know what I'm saying? Arm, uh, biggest arm is swole up and all. And it's like I couldn't really, I couldn't even embrace him like I wanted to. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I kind of yeah, down. Yeah. I kind of just really kind of said what I said and kind of walked past. Right. You know what I'm saying? And walked through the kitchen and hollered at my grandma. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all wanna go tell me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in college playing ball. Like, ain't nobody ever did that in our family. Yeah. So it's like, they ain't really. They ain't wanna, they ain't wanna mess that up. Right. And you throw, know what you all, throw you off balance. But yeah. that's life, man. That's yeah. temporary. Yeah. This forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that was like my first introduction. And 
even before then, and shit, it was like when I was playing ball. When I was playing ball. Um, I had a, I had, by the time the season ended, I meant the school year ended. I ain't need nothing to like, like I ain't have to take no extra classes or nothing. But I yeah. did. Yeah. To yeah, 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 to yeah. get more credits to graduate early. Yeah. Okay. 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 In the midst of the summer when I left for school, when I'm witnessing my uncle, I passed. I found out he was sick. Probably the end of April. Came home. They tell him you're dead June fourth. You know what I'm saying? After what? Couple months. It was by the time I found out, it was right, like right, that right, to me. right, 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 okay, you know right, 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 because you ain't getting to see the whole. When I'm talking thing. to him on the phone while I'm while I'm gone, he always telling me he's straight. He ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying yeah, nothing. He don't want to throw you off either. Right. This yeah, my. I'm telling you, yeah. he he was my. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. I got you. Yeah. So he ain't. Yeah. yeah. So then it was like, um, man, it, um, I was going through the school. The people used to call. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know how you sign up for classes and stuff. Yeah, and they yeah, call. Yeah. They used to call probably once a week, once every two weeks or something like that. But they yeah. called kind of like consistently. I had not told people like, nah, I ain't um, kind of throwing off real quick. Yeah, once yeah. a month just passed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, like two and a half weeks later, my grandma ended up passing. So now I'm like, the lady calling, and I'm like, I'm telling her like, nah, I'm probably finna. Um, I want to yeah, take. Yeah. I want to cancel the classes yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um. I don't, I don't, I got a lot going on, you know I'm saying, my people just, I got a lot going on, uh, so end up being, I don't get no more phone calls though, right. I don't get no more phone calls, but then, <laughs> by the time it's time to go back to camp, I'm thinking everything's crazy, I'm going to go to camp, yeah. and I get a, I get a call from the coach, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm on suspension, you know what I'm saying, I'm on academic suspension, because they put, they ain't putting, I ain't know nothing about, I ain't never withdraw from a class. Uh, so, so you know you're supposed to go through it on the you computer. Go through official steps, to, right? You can't just say. I don't she stopped calling her. though. Right. So you thought it was good. She ain't called no more. Oh yeah, she thought, yeah, you thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, nobody yeah. ain't tell me like this. Yeah. What I need to do, and I had this yeah. going on. So it was like, yeah, that was my thing. So it was like getting a miss. It was like I was gonna call myself getting in the midst of running away from everything and yeah. doing what I'm gonna do yeah. best. And it's like, yeah. what? By that, right so I had to go through a petition process. I had to do like three of them, and my my coach them. I ain't really stand for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying I had I did I ended up doing three petitions, uh, and by the time the third one got passed, it was like the season, the school year already started. I wasn't finna go to school and not play yeah. ball. I ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah. I ain't finna do that. I know I ain't yeah. built like that. Right, not right. not to do right. Right, not right. just to sit there and do nothing. Do nothing. When the yeah. snow is snowed in, I'm gonna do what I'm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so I, I ain't never go. Even when I tried to go back to school here, I was too caught up. I hadn't got too caught up in what I was doing. Uh -huh. Like my phone rang, I wouldn't really want to go to school. Like I couldn't, uh -huh. I couldn't differentiate what was going on yeah. from man on the phone. To do my school work. work, yeah, and most yeah. everything I ever want to do in school, I always just to test it tomorrow. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It wasn't personally off of what I did. Right, right. So I ain't find my own way to after. Man, I ain't right. find my own way to. Probably, yeah. Man, by the time I got out of jail, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I went to jail 2017. Mm -hmm. That's the first spot I found peace at. Because right. even in the midst of all that, like like I say, my uncle passed June 4th, grandma passed like June 22nd. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Two years later, my best friend passed June 4th. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Then my cousin passed coming, June 26th. They was, was coming back to back. In the midst of all that, I got shot at 14. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's 13, 14, 15. Yeah. Me and my brother, and we couple of us got shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all this is in 13, 14, 15. Right, this right, is, right. This yeah. is the stuff going on. So I end up going to jail in like 17. You, been, um, you want to talk about that or something? What, me? You want, about, yeah, what you want to jail for? I went to jail for, um, I caught a traffic control. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey. Is that what you were talking about when you said your phone was ringing? No, nah, I, I ain't even, class. honestly, I wasn't even, that was something I had to just started, you know what I'm saying, playing okay. with for okay, real. Okay, okay, Probably yeah, like yeah. a couple months before, okay, but I had no, yeah. I was blowing up like the world trade. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. So, but yeah. that wasn't my thing. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, I was right. with the reef. So right. it was like, so by the time I'm doing it, it, can't, it, it did me up, but it was like, I, I was moving, I wasn't moving right, and you know what I'm saying? I end up wanting to go do something. Mm -hmm. And they got behind me. They got behind me. I'm smoking roof. You know what I'm saying? It's the first time my mama ever let me hold her car. Yeah. My mama called me. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I was worried my grandma. So my mama called me. Yeah. And she like, son, you want to hold my car today? Yeah. And I'm like, I ain't never. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm like. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm jumping on that. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. okay, so I, I call my home girl, I have her take me to my mama job. She was working at like churches by the time. Yeah. So we put it on she take me to churches. Get the car. You know what I'm saying? Slide, up. Slide off. By the, man, I ain't had a car for a while. I was, I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? I probably got the car about three, four o'clock. Yeah. What made them behind? You ran a, ran a stop sign? Man, I ain't do away, nothing, man. man. They just seen Man, you. my mama tied was on. My mama birthday was December 15th. Oh, don't tell no, me. No, my man. mama birthday was December 11th. I went to jail December 15th. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I went to jail December 15th. Um, They pulled me over, say, because the tag was expired. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they probably won't go take you to jail. They probably won't give you a ticket, but then they smell the weed the and then you had to get a car. No, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, no, so boom, so the reefer smoke. I literally just finished smoking reefer. So yeah. he ended up turning it on me. I ended up turning. Boom. They end up getting my. It's like five, six cars here. Yeah. Like, why is y'all bothering Bother me? Bothering me, yeah. They, yeah. It's, yeah. I'm in old, I'm in old uh, Impala, light mm. tent. No, yeah. like, barely none. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? They put me yeah. over SWAT. Uh, gang test had them put the, uh, they had them put me over. They ended up catching me on the bike street right in front of my people house, right in front of my brother, baby mama house. Mm -hmm. um, you said gang tag, so you you was already in the hood. You had to be in the hood. I had to turn it. I was on McDuff. I had to turn on McDuff. Okay, but I'm saying, what well, they already. Man, the I'm coming. Already, you know what man, I'm, I'm coming off the expressway. Mm -hmm. Man, it's five cars, literally. Yeah. At light, the police there, but I don't care. They ain't got nothing to yeah, do with me. Yeah, yeah. So they didn't jump across and get you. No, like, so the light turned green. <laughs> So boom, so now they like turn, end up turning green, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just so happened to just to suddenly pick me. Yeah. But it wasn't so suddenly. It was like it was. It was meaningful. Like I say, that's the first spot I found pizza right. in the midst yeah, of all the things yeah, that was going yeah. on. I was gonna get to that. Like, so talk about that, man. Like, cause I done heard that before. Like, sometimes you gotta get, you gotta get slow. You gotta get. Corona is like jail for people. Right. You know what I'm saying? You because slow it, down and think. Because it put it forced a lot of people to sit down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. most people can't yeah. live with themselves, and they can't yeah. live inside their minds. Yeah. They can't live with the the stagnation that they got themselves. They That's can't why live they always with the, moving. That's why we always moving. We ain't comfortable just chilling with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. it's, they constantly running from yourself. You constantly running from your own thoughts. Mm. So even my first time, I ain't, I'm not a jail person. I don't get in trouble. Like I'm, that's not, that's never right. been. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. so, in the midst of me going to, in the midst of me catching the charge, it really, like I say, it was a peace point. Right. It provided peace for not only me, but for a few other people. I made a, I made a few connections with a lot of other people in there, mm. and like ninety eight percent of the, the people in jail lied to me now. Right. You know what I'm saying? They was. Right. Probably about yeah, about ninety eight, probably ninety nine. Ninety nine percent of the people that lied yeah. to me, they yeah, weren't yeah. who they were yeah. when they end up. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and now that's yeah. they, you can all you can be all you can be yeah. end up. Yeah, I heard somebody say uh, uh nigga ain't got they got more lies to tell than the nigga in jail, man. Man, ain't nobody got more lies to tell than the nigga in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. So um, so I'm in there and I make people time. Like I said, I'm taking it. So because this is a point to where I ain't worried about. Nothing. Right. I really you know just chill and sit down and think. I'm really just chilling. And then God yeah. bought me a book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They put me in a class. They ain't yeah. even have classes like that. They just started some classes. Yeah. And they all of a sudden just called me out. Yeah. Me and uh, me and Stitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they called us out. So we end up going down the hall. So we like, what's up? So I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know what the people call me out for. So we end up going downstairs and they tell them they were in the class. So boom. So. They just end up putting us in the uh, tell them, end up sending the officer, end up putting us in the class, telling yeah, us about yeah. the class going. So having this this the dude, he like first he like believed in us because like, all right, so we in the class. The dude, he was so an average person to say something about him because he looked like he was uh, he kind of looked like he was autistic in a way. Right, right. But then he was kind of like very very hyper. Okay. Like he was okay. very exuberant. Okay. Like okay. He okay. couldn't really like he if you ain't the average ignorant mind you go you go, you go say something yeah, about it because yeah, he's just so i get you i get you you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, white yeah. dude you know what i'm okay, saying mr yeah. collins matthew yeah. Coll matthew collins he right he's a book writer mm, okay. you know what i'm saying he had a book from him look it up and see if i can find it but um he bought to us a book and when i was in there so i was like it was a class of like that was my first class of like meditation okay i took med i took a yoga class in um in, in minnesota i went to a, like a spiritual school okay it was a native american school okay, okay. i went to junior okay. college playing ball okay you know what i'm saying so that was like my first intro introduction to that but um before then it was more so like uh we in jail i mean now we get in the class one of the classes and so what we'll do look crazy we end up hitting all we doing Peace point. We on you know saying breathing, doing breathing exercise. Then yeah. we go over the book. Some of the stuff we got on the book, educating and stuff. So 
But he got to the point he asked us about we'll ask us about something that we want to uh we end up getting about asking about a book or something. And then we end up um I told him I want to read Rich Dead Poor Dead. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, No, nah. he said this what just do what you go read. He went he went to the he said Rich Dead Poor Dead is for a direction. He went he said he we gave me the foundation, which was the Think and Grow Rich book. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About Napoleon Hill. Gotcha. gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, I don't even read the Urban. No, I, I read a couple of them, but that was never my thing because my mind was always, I was always bigger than there, what everybody yeah. thought. Right, You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Regardless of what you see, I guarantee, come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So yeah. it's like, in the midst of the time, so I'm in there, so I now I get introduced to the book. That's my introduction to the book. I asked for a boom. Then he ended up going to go buy it with his own money. Mm -hmm. Buy that in a forty law in a forty dollars bottle. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really I like that book, but I ain't really like that book. For real? It's straight. Yeah, that's my book, bro. You, I ain't really a fan. It's straight. It's like <laughs> a manipulation book. It is. That's really the what it is. I ain't yeah. really you know what I'm saying? I always knew the keen ability of my mind yeah. and the ability of what I can yeah. do, but I never used yeah. it like the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause control people are not like right, that. Yeah, and that's yeah. kind of like what that book was for. Yeah, for. yeah. and I ain't they ain't my yeah, stilo. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I got the, he bought them books there. So like, what you want? He wants. So I like he gave me the thing, grow rich book, white and green. Never forget it. Mm -hmm. So now I take it back to the dorm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm I was, I'm the person that's always connected to them people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's like. What you oh uh, what is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm highlighting I'm highlighting stuff in the book. I'm reading. I'm into it. It's five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. book five. Yeah, been yeah, putting yeah, people yeah, on yeah. books since jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the book five, best book I ever, it was the best book I ever read. Yeah. I'm like yeah, it's better than yeah, it's better than the Bible. That's what right. I tell people. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I promise, I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, cause it's like it's just so. You open your mind. It's just so. It you know what I'm saying? That's the first thing. Yeah. That was the first thing that opened my mind. And it's like when you read a book, it's like. You not get, we don't get a chance to be around people. Like the thing that we like the most is exposure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it. So Talk about it. In the midst of not having the exposure, when you read a book, the book is like you having the sense of sitting down talking to the person. The person, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like yeah. now we sitting and having a chance to sit here. With Napoleon, it. talking to Napoleon, you know yeah, while he give you that I'm game. talking to my imaginary yeah, figures yeah, yeah. as I'm reading each book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Each book, now I, I, I'm to the point now to where I try to be more intentional mm -hmm. on what I look for, what I look to learn before I even read the book. Right. Like, I'm currently reading Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cordon. Okay, okay. With the yeah. attentions on building my sales and communication okay. there. Persuasion, so right, right, absolutely. You know okay, I got you. But so you try to get a a, a hand on. Okay, what do I want to learn out of what I'm about to read, or what am I looking to learn? What what I think, what I'm looking to learn, what I'm already, what I'm what I'm trying to read. Yeah, okay. And then it gives you more so a, a more intentional base because now you're looking for certain points. Yeah, yeah Even yeah. in the mix of you piling on yeah, more yeah, information yeah, okay, okay, instead yeah, of just yeah. kind of like just reading, just reading. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. But if you know, if you already got an idea of what you're kind of looking for, what you're looking yeah, to build in yourself yeah. and you're, things you're like that. Highlighting. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, I'm in up. Yeah, I'm rocking out. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking out. So, um, so I read, I'm bringing the book back to the door, and I got people, you know what I'm saying? I got them people that's reading these books. I mean, that's getting the book. I ain't passing out. This is my homeboys, and my homeboys, just them people always been tied to the to the, to the real people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It's like so now this was their introduction to it mm -hmm. in the scrum for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I got that read that what is read that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm talking to my bunk and I'm telling them boy like this, this is wrong. Yeah. So I'm in there, I'm telling them and they you know what I'm saying, this was their introduction to it. You know what I'm saying? That's a book I left in the jailhouse so I can continue to circulate. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that was a book that opened my mind, the first book that, that yeah. changed it kinda of changed my life. Yeah. It changed my, it planted the seed. Now the thing about jail that most people don't understand is like People get a chance to find themselves and and develop their mind, but it's like by the time you get out, what majority of people lack is everybody's still doing the same thing. Okay. Right. So, so now, even though you got to adapt mind frame, mm -hmm. you get everybody else out. around you is still has the same mind frame. Okay. So okay. they so they they're not getting willing back to. Out, you getting out to the nigga that's doing the, the same, same thing they were doing before. I went right. Out. Everybody. Everybody. Not even just yeah. every, that is is. My partners came home from the service. He did five years, man. He says two people. There's only two people. Me and another guy, another guy named Jonathan or uh, Jonathan James. He right. said we're the only two people that's actually doing something that's different. Right. From five yeah, years from ago. From five years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Yeah. And like I said, I ain't never. Had, I wouldn't say I just. I always had a direction or nothing. It's just I was stumbling across what I did, and there was a lot of things in the mix. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I always been like in the mix of different things. Yeah. Like I say, aspects yeah. changed my life. Yeah. Being able to be exposed to certain people, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was never regular because the people that I was around was like legends. Mm -hmm. Like I was able to, you know what I'm saying, to, to see just things that was legendary from legendary people. Mm -hmm. I was always able to be in inside of the the room 
with the or in the in the midst of the people that everybody wanted to be like what they had going on. Mm-hmm. Like one of them like some yeah. celebrity stuff. Yeah, yeah, but not yeah. they ain't rapping or nothing. They right. just they doing something different. Yeah, you know Speak what I mean? on that bro like exposure bro because that was the key dog. Exposure like, is, like is the key to, that, bro. Exposure is the key to, to life. Like until I was exposed, until I took the steps to join the groups and Make the and make the make the decision to go on where I want to go. It, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. That's the way. That's when all the true exposure came, because you don't find exposure in the mix of that same cloud in the same box. Mm-hmm. You can't. It ain't. You know what I'm saying. You can't look for the. It, it's hard to find the flashlight when there ain't no light there enough. Ain't no light enough. You know what I'm saying. No Vice light. versa, you can go somewhere and bring the light enough. Everybody can find their own flashlight. Find their own flashlight. Or uh, uh, everybody ain't got to find their own flashlight. Everybody can see the way. See the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got that one. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. all you yeah. did, you but you got to be willing to leave out of there. Yeah. I didn't even have one of the people I talked to was like, you don't think that the thing that you're doing is just so uncool. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. And that was just one of the people from the outside. You like one of the, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand. The people that's in the inside, mm-hmm. that's not what they want to do. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. This was what they right. just, they, the, they, they got caught up. They got caught, caught up, up and they, they understand the process of what's going on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I ain't finna be a victim to what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they don't, it's not, they don't be these yeah. big, tough gangsters all right. day. They regular right. jokey jokes. Mo- most of the biggest gangsters and, and things that you see will always be from the people. Most, some of the biggest gangsters and most respectful people at the same time uh-huh. will always come from people in the street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. they understand through consequences that mm-hmm. respect is something yeah. that you must give yeah. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. For all the people, like, you know, they kind of deem bad, good, what's bad, what's good. Mm-hmm. But it's like they deem you bad because you learn so much more than the average person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, you're a right. threat to you're a threat to society only mm-hmm. because you have the mind power and influence to do anything. Anything, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have the trajectory yeah. to do anything. Yeah. So how how do we change that, bro? Like, how do we expose? How do we get more exposure in in our neighborhoods and in our in our communities? You know what I'm saying? Because like you you got locked up and you took advantage of being locked up. Everybody don't do that. So they go everybody road, don't do that. And they go account. They wild more than what they were doing. Right. They, when, but when like they I say, out. the biggest so, the biggest thing be like it's the connection to the people. Mm-hmm. So then it's the extra it's an extra push. So I would, even though I still planted the seed, then I ain't react right then. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I you got out, the seed though. Yeah, the seed yeah, was just yeah, planted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what okay. I'm saying? And the mix of the other seeds, the seed was just planted. Okay. It wasn't like this happened and I just. I'm just, just oh, right, no, right, right. Oh, it I ain't go you. like that. That's you. cartoon. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I ain't right. get straight. It's 2021. Mm-hmm. I got a jail 18. All right. You know what I'm saying? I had my company probably seven, no five, five months, but before then, I got into the. I I invested inside myself. Probably like the end of 20, mm-hmm. December of 20. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I took, we had to took, I had to took an L, and that was one of the last things I spent my money on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I took, I took an L over here. I'm like, with, with, with the little couple thousand I had left, I ended up spending, I invested in the, uh, in the, uh, in the course. Right, right. You right. know, self knowledge, bro. In the RBC curriculum, we really taught real estate, business, and credit. Okay. And then it's like, ever since I invested in that. It's like all the other things that I was trying to do wasn't working right. right, right it wasn't right, going straight for right, me. Right. And I, at the time, I never understood it. Right. But it was really all the scrum for just keeping me trying to expose me to the decision that I made. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because once you make a decision, all the other things, you know what I'm saying? God talked to you so crucial is that once you make a decision, all the things that you were doing is going to make it seem like it ain't right now. Yeah, right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. you're supposed to be going that way you make the decision. Right, right. And once you make the decision, right. see, most people be so afraid of the unknown. The unknown is like a door to the apartments. Yeah. It's like you only get to see the apartments. Once you open the door, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And the apartments is the whole goal of uh, the whole goal is people, God is Himself, just us Himself, because God is within. It's like the whole goal being that we God's highest form of creation mm-hmm. is to be able to free His people. Yeah, that's the only that's the only goal it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mental. Yeah, that's the, that's yeah. that's the way. Like it's yeah. it's it's a mental it's a mental it's a true mental and spiritual yeah. thing. Yeah. When they base when they base when they base like. The flesh, the flesh is the liabilities of the world. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yep. That's yep. that's what that's yep. what I that's what's depicting to me from I got that from Robert Kiyosaki. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's how his daddy taught him. It was like mm-hmm. they used it in a sense like that. Like they used sure. it like the deliver us from evil was the delivering you from not being, delivering you from the liabilities, delivering oh, yeah. you from the mind frame to get right. caught up in the liabilities right. of the world. Right. The true, right. the live, the true heavens yeah. on earth came right. from living through right. the assets right. of the world. Right, right, right. Understand right. the knowledge. Right. Right. right, They always say go find the knowledge, but they ain't never uh. pointed the direction to you of the knowledge. Okay. They pointed the only book they ever showed you was the 
religions book. Yeah. But they never gave you a sense of direction or book to where to go at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you're right. The flesh of life is just a liability. Though. Yeah, that's all it is. All it ain't it is. no... Chasing oh, all the liabilities. It ain't no, it's oh, you just girls or you yeah, just... It ain't none of that. Yeah. It's not none yeah. of that. All the stuff that ain't going to pay off. It's just, that's that's the that's only it. thing that uh, that, that, the, yeah. that the world is... That's, that's yeah. what the true worldly spirit is. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When you get caught up in the flesh, in the, flesh. Yeah. the fleshly things yeah. is is the liabilities yeah. of the world. The things yeah. that ain't benefiting you, your future, your legacy. You. Wow. You know You're what I'm right, saying? The asset, when they say... Oh, yeah, yeah. And you bring you... What's the next part of the prayer? Deliver us from evil. Lead us not into temptation. Okay, yeah, and the, the deliver us from evil instead of assets, and the, and lead us not into temptation is the liabilities. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? The temptation is the liabilities yeah, of the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the true flesh. Yep. Because you know it's, it's always tempting. You right, know? and it looked like it's it like cartoon, good, like yeah. it looked like what it I is. Gotta get it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah. this this ain't what it is. This ain't yeah, what time it is. Yeah. This ain't this. Even from a from a and it's so. It's so indoctr the program is so indoctrinated. It's like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You'll be a fool. You'll look at the guy who's trying to try to take wool over your eyes, like he the like he the criminal. Yeah, he the bad guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like how they do any any so called terrorists. Any mm -hmm. terrorists is just people that try to expose the truth to the world yeah. or to the truth of their people, mm -hmm. or they just got leverage into mm -hmm. one of the major assets of the world. Or they call you a conspiracy theorist. Or yeah. Something. Anytime you see something, and you like, look, this ain't what it is. Man, that's not what it is. Right. You <laughs> want listen? You want? I got yeah. two key two of the quickest ways easy. If you want to, if you want to get here in life, just always do the opposite of what everybody else. Everybody doing. else doing, bro. I believe that, bro. That's that's the truth. You I know what I'm saying? I believe that. That's bro. the truth. If don't the don't follow going the, right, bro. I'm going left, bro. Don't follow the don't follow them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it's 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 yeah. it's candy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's candy. Now, don't yeah. get me wrong. And, and me yeah. and it's so crucial. I'm telling about me and candy. Like, I like Reese's. Okay. And I eat a Reese's right now. and tear my stomach up so bad. Right. Cause it ain't no good ain't for no me. Good for you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's like how my body. But you it's like so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like yeah. we as people, this is what we do. It's like we got to see ourselves like credit cards, mm -hmm. like debit cards. Okay. It's like with, with a debit card, it's like you only got to designate the spot of where you're supposed to take your card at. Right. You can take it other places, but you got to pay the tax. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And right. 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 So right. this the thing is like we as people. We don't connect ourselves to be around what we need to be around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't no extra fee. Right. But as soon as we put ourselves around everything else, that's where we got to pay the tax. We pay tax there where else we go through the yeah. people. Yeah. You know, all in the midst of the we ain't yeah. around what we, we ain't where we supposed to be at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't, you ain't, a lot of time we do out the, just the teaching, we, we brush off, we brush off one accountability. Yeah. And self accountability comes from the head to the household. And most of our head to the households is is like women, uh -huh. and a lot of and the first people that the you know what I'm saying that the silk that the the slave trade hit was the women because uh -huh. they took the man. Took up. The man. Up. You know what I'm saying? So you uh -huh. tried to make it. You tried to push the issue. The face or the backbone is you, and it's not uh -huh. you because you don't work without the balance. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have a you have an emotional set of thinking. You have a rational set of thinking. Uh -huh. And the man is the rational, and the woman is emotional. Uh -huh. And with the true balance of both. That's what that's what you need to raise a family to raise a that's community. true structure yep. way past if you ever you ever heard of Shazad Ali uh -huh. okay yeah. that's like what yeah. she speak on that's yeah. just yeah. it's just true it's you know true. what I'm saying like so it's like you got to be able to in a mix of these things and it's like you know what I'm saying just having a it's like knowing who you are and what you can do I, I know I always had a platform I always had the influence right you know yeah. what I'm saying I had, even though I ain't never promote promoted the streets nobody I even had guys come up to me and tell me even when I was in jail like. The stuff they were doing is in the mix of all the scrum for what they seen me and my homeboys doing right, and stuff right. like that. Wow. And that and that was like real hurtful for me because right. I ain't never promoted that. I ain't even trying to promote it. That ain't never been me. I ain't right. never promoted. That ain't right. never been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. off of me verbally. Probably on some I can't. But I'm gonna tell you like this ain't. This ain't it. This ain't what time it is. That ain't wow. it. Like that's right. just. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of great relationships with a lot of amazing people. You know what I'm saying? That were just misunderstood like the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? What's um what's some of the things you learned in the RBC, bro? Like the I need oh, something man. Like that, but that was you said real estate. Real business estate business and credit. credit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it came from and it came from a it came from one eye people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? One eye people is the people that's teaching this. One eye people. I got the RBC the RBC curriculum came from Jay Morrison. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Jay Morrison was the he was the first I'm gonna take it a step back. Okay. Oh Garner. Well, gonna, yeah. He was the first person. Once I started to get enlightened, he was. I was so amazed at the thing and what he was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. he was. 
he was like real life like ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Off the scruff of height, yeah. off the straight of height, what he stood for. Yeah, yeah. Family yeah. man, like I was infatuated with the way he moved and shit. I'm like, damn, okay. I mean I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm like, yeah, that's what I, I like that and mm -hmm. I seen him post a Jay Morrison link because all this on his page he ain't dropped nothing but straight knowledge and game. Right, right. So when I go to his page, I end up seeing Jay. I mean, I got to check dog out. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, if he posted so, Jay, I got to check dog out. So when he posted a yeah. uh, post of Jay on his page, it was like it was like how the school system teaches just how to be uh, uh they, don't, they teach you how to be a working class citizen yeah, instead yeah. of CEO instead of uh, being a CEO of your last name. They don't teach you how to. They don't teach you how to basically use your thoughts to see yourself in a position as being a key orchestrator. Yep, yep, yep. Like, you don't have to always be the person to do it. You just be the key facilitator. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Yep. A lot of these syndications and deals that goes on, it's just you being you putting the pieces together. You're putting the pieces together. You ain't doing none of the work. I ain't got this. I just had a, I just got it, like, and, and it's about stepping up. So I got a problem. Like, I got a hard money little. Mm -hmm. I got a problem little. So what it's like. I hold, hold on. Hold that. Because I want to get in that. We'll get into okay. the next bit. Okay. All right, all right. So, all right. So you learn from Jay. Okay. You, you I got the tools from Jay. Know what I'm saying? Okay. So and that's when I that's when I started picking up. Know what I'm saying? I'm starting to read the, okay. the, the the book, the work when I'm going through the courses. Okay. And it just so lifely and ain't even what in the course. It was just it was true love and spirit because the way he do he go around the, he go around the world mm -hmm. and do he was doing free classes yep. on the corner. Yeah, he, he was doing, doing corner classes. classes. Yep. And he was I, real estate for free on the corner, Baltimore. You were feeling he was in the hood. Now, let me yep. let me let me yep. let me expose you okay. to something. Okay. We got Jay coming here. Mm. To do a free corner club. Really? Yeah. I thought he had to stop. Nah, he had no. He, he, see, he had the six. He had a. He had a. Yeah, he had a. Yeah, he had yeah, a bag. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he okay. had to get the surgery. So okay. and he okay. still kept doing his. He kept doing God's work. Yeah. Even amidst all of that, like still taking on all of it and the thing that he built overcame. So it's like, so in the midst of us building, bringing the revenue in, just the exposure in. That's gonna be in the mix of him, man, bringing him here. Mm -hmm. Like I have king, other kings that I work with here that I partnered up here through our group. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've been able to build a strong foundation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To where it's it's very lightful to the point to where I hired my first assistant right. this week. So let's talk about you it. Know what I'm I, I want to get in that. So let's oh, let's first get into the group because I I believe that's important, bro. Like finding groups and that finding was the minded people. That was the biggest to, thing to from grow, bro. From coming from you know what I'm saying from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was the the mm -hmm. groups. So I have I'm in two groups. Okay. B I mean also I'm in B A A. I'm in B A A. Black Black yep. Shout out shout out to the homie T B honest. He coming. Yeah. Coming. Shout out! Yeah. Shout out to the shout whole family. Yeah. 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 Know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to the yeah. whole family. Yeah. T, Tiffany, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like Definitely. TB, Cook. Yes. Like yeah. all, like yeah. the whole team. Like yeah. it ain't no yeah. peace. I and, love, I, and I love what y'all doing over there. Like, like know I, what I'm saying? I Just love, as a group. Bro. Like yeah. and it's, it's the thing about it is it's like yeah, Mason. Like yeah, it came off. We might have been a little or. Like, we've been a little old, but it's like, it ain't never about the beginning. It's like, we yeah. build a strong core. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, even still growing, we still getting in the midst of learning each other. Because right. it's easy to get with a person when everything is straight. You know what I'm saying? But getting in the midst of learning the people, in the midst yeah. of why life is still going on right. and getting adjusted. Right, 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 and right. this, this is right. the part of what we right. constantly still right. working on right. instead of trying to go. Right. Like, yeah, we got clothes, and yeah, we still deviate. Like, we like any people. Yeah. We, like, we still people. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But we still just... We try to keep the connection going. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we are the, we regardless of anything else, we are our internal group. You yep. know what yep. I'm saying? So we always there for the midst mm -hmm. of each other. Mm -hmm. And it's always been they do amazing. They they open my eyes to a lot of other different things. Yeah. Things yeah. while we're interested in and seeing. And it was just like seeing it was like seeing it was just like it was different. Uh -huh. So what's the um what's the other group? So you're in BAA. Yeah, I'm in BAA, right, yeah, and, and I'm in Cash Buyers Academy. Okay. 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 I'm in Cash Buy Cash Buyers Academy is a is a spin is like a little spinoff from from Jay that come with yeah. King Isaac Isaac Isaac, yeah. Isaac Grace is on the yeah. you know what I'm saying Isaac Grace is on the protege right yeah. that's okay. his protege okay. so okay you know we're in some elite groups boy yeah yeah <laughs> we're in some elite groups boy you know what I'm saying yeah. like okay. I done been I done okay. been up there with hey, I done been out with Isaac like actually on a personal level and actually okay. been out we done been in the club we talked business and enjoyed that right. Like, right 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 that was right. like we were eye opening too because he's a mentor to me mm. like you know what I'm saying so it's like. Just seeing these people as regular people, right? In the you know? club, and we still having them conversations, right? You know what I'm saying? We, I, I, we, yeah. we drove to Atlanta to go to the class, and we're like, "Come on, I'm gonna treat y'all to this," yeah, and we yeah. just hung out, and yeah. it was a lot. You know that what I'm saying? Up, bro. That's strong. Bro. Yeah, it was strong. strong you know what yeah, I'm saying? It was strong. strong, and it was like the thing was so big. It was it was just from the point of, it was just from the point of, now um, 
the connections, the connections with the people. Not even just what I was like, the people inside those groups. Mm -hmm. So taking that extra step to join those groups was like one of the other best things that happened to them. Jail, being shot, all these things was the best, yeah. best things yeah, happened yeah, to yeah, yeah. them. Make sure I tell y'all that. Everything, yeah, these things was the best things yeah. happened to them, yeah. I promise. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I done had way more from the people that know. You know what I'm saying? Right, that, right, right. So right, it was like, right. you know what I'm saying? These things is the best thing that happened to me because they added a sense of direction. I always learned from my situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I I became a true warrior and beast in general through my situation. Right. I learned how to deal with so much things in my right. situation. So so you so you, you learned that. So now you didn't invest it in your own business. I invested in my own business, okay. which is Visionary Property Solutions. Okay. That's you know what I'm saying? Visionary Property Solutions. Visionary Property Solutions. You okay. know what I'm saying? All right. Well, we... We envision your future. You know what okay. I'm saying? We don't okay. really see your past. So it's like we prop we pur we purchase properties. Okay. All conditions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um we do it the strategy that we focus on is called wholesaling. Uh huh. Wholesaling is where you can be able to have ownership of a house, you know what I'm saying, uh with no cash, no credit. Mm -hmm. You have um equitable interest. Okay. It's a contract based business. Okay. So I can come right. get this building right here that we in. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. every every real estate transaction, especially in the state of Florida, is done with paperwork. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So all you're doing is selling the contract. Okay. So, so if I, if I want to sell this building, do I and I I I need to come to you or like I probably reach out so nine to point where we'll reach out to you, my team will reach out to you. Okay. To call to see, you know what I'm saying? We we look for distressed homeowners. Okay. We just we look for a motivated oh, seller. Okay, okay. So, so people the people that's already trying to get rid of you know, people that might be in a distressed situation and looking, you know what I'm saying, for a quick fix or a liquidation. Okay, like you on the sale, like you can't you can't put your house on the market if it ain't if it need renovation. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So okay. we buy. You know what I'm saying. That's okay. the thing that we in. Okay. The specialized okay. knowledge that we have allow us to be able to. You know what I'm saying. If you was in a distressed situation, I come pay you cash for your house. Right. So if I'm let's say I'm going through a foreclosure, if you come to us. Come you sell house up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I come buy the house to you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And what it is is I come get the contract. And what I do is I I, I send the contract with, with my pool of investors. Mm -hmm. So I take the contract. You would be the seller. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would take it to the end buyer. Okay. And I would be the middle man. Or I would be the middle man. And whatever property, say, we get the bill for 100000 I sell it in help. I take it to hell for one fifty. I just yeah. made fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Got gotcha. you. Know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just playing the middleman. That's all. The, yeah. Jeff Bezos blew up like the World Trade off being a middleman. Middle man. That's all. Walmart you know. is a middleman. They don't own. They don't. They don't create they nothing. They own those products. They, they just show. they just house the products yeah, to be distributed. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. the key to that's the key to it. So uh, the key to life is being an orchestrator. Also, the key to life is. Finding the value add, being a value add mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that. It's yeah. like so. The best thing you can do is like there's no leverage in self work, mm -hmm. and, and no. there's no, no there's no sir there's no leverage in earn income. Right. Earn income is any form of work that you have to that you have to work to be done, which mm -hmm. is being a W two employee, mm -hmm. being a even Quite a lot of these is, a lot of these small small time business owners honestly are are working. They work. They bought. They they just own their own job. Yeah, you working for yourself because yeah. there's no there's no leverage. Yeah. The work stops you, when you stop. When you there's stop. no system, no protocol, right. no processes in right. place right. to be able to run this and automate this business. Right. The most right. people get denied at the banks uh, with their business ideas because there's there's no it's always about them. Right. right. There's and no that, there's no system in place. There's no system in place. Money come back. So it's like they yeah. everybody knows life happens. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I bet why with I you when right, right. when there ain't nothing to fall back on? No money gonna come in. You know what I'm saying? That's why you put the systems in place yeah. you teach the people how to do it yeah, yeah. you take the yeah. back end so now you yeah. pay them and you pay your business and you take whatever else take whatever. and you have the privilege of having mm -hmm. passive income because now you wasn't you ain't have to work for that money right you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah i could have made the 45 you know what i'm saying i could have made 45 i could have made twenty thousand this month off of these two deals mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but mm -hmm. i just made breaking this down with my team i just made six seven thousand dollars and i barely had to do any work right. for nothing right right you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to yeah, keep yeah. this flowing with well, less yeah. work as possible. Yeah. You want to be able to have this going. So now, as I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying? They work. They said it. They still. They still shooting at the shot. The average yeah. wholesale deal is ten thousand uh, dollars. Uh, the national average is ten thousand dollars. So you constantly uh, got people shooting at this ten thousand dollars for you. Just ten. I mean, and not even just the the not the dollar. Forget the dollar. It's the the thing since I started making a the, since the since I actually got in the business is the relationships with the people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, now okay. I get to the mix, and now I have. 
million their friends. Mm. I have people that I know that has. Mm. I have five plus people I know that have twenty plus property. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like it's the when they say enjoy the process. These are the forms of the process. Right. Before it get to the financial gain. The financial mm. gain is just a plus. Right. Right. You know right, right, right. 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 What I'm learning on the way is and a lot you, more important than it, the people I'm meeting. Yeah, it's a lot more important than just a dollar. The dollar is just yeah. it's back. That's pay. gonna come. God pays you in back pay. You'll yeah. never get paid for what you do right now. You yeah. always get paid for what you are yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Life is the law of reciprocation, the law, the the laws of the universe. To understand the laws of polarity, understand that everything has a yep. is a counter opposite. Everything is dead in life; it has no positive and negative. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, understanding the karma, understanding these things is life gives you what you put out. It's law of compensation. Right. So, if you right. work, the world will pay you for it. But if you settle for a penny, the world will pay you a penny. Will pay you a penny. Yeah. If you if you if you want to buy, what type of value you add? What, how, what, what type of value, value add, add, and what type of value you see in yourself? Yeah. And yeah. you can't never see the value in yourself if you don't tune the noise out. Yeah. Most people are most people are not able to find themselves because they never buy themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even when they buy themselves, they constantly even their phone yeah. or they own yeah. a phone. They, they yeah. in their phone and they own their phone yeah. or they own yeah. the computer. Yeah. They doing other things to run away mm-hmm. from themselves. What? You can't never find yourself. Cause you never buy yourself. Yeah, it's just impossible. Like, come on, man. That's like too much noise. Like, it's too much noise. Then it's like, Why not? then you try to ba- put so much basis on the people. A lot of times, it, a lot of people be so, a lot of people be so connected to greatness to the point to where it's like it's like a beautiful picture. The the closer you get to the beautiful picture, the more imperfect it becomes. Right, right, right. But right. the moment you take the step back to see the picture, you get to see how beautiful yeah, the picture yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people don't want to take the step back. And most people ain't never seen greatness on, other than on TV, so they're not even knowing that this is greatness right. in the making. Right. Because they got so their they, own so perception they so, of what's... They so busy striving for the end result, they can't see. They don't even see. Yeah, they am not mean. even... No, I'm talking about... I ain't talking about for the people that's striving. I'm talking about for the people that's around that don't... Okay. For the people that was stag- that got yeah. stagnated. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For the people yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that yeah, you yeah, forcing yeah. to change and adapt because you changed and adapt. You know what I'm saying? People don't resist. People don't. People don't like. It's not the fact that people don't like change. They they just don't like being changed. Mm. Once you change, I got to change you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> now around you, I got to change. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, or we gonna get from around each other. Or we gonna get from around each other. Yeah. Most people yeah. fall out, and, and like in our in our in our life is like. <laughs> you use this example. You know what I'm saying? Um. Two girls fall out. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to be. A, she don't want to kick it. She don't want to wild out to be a freak no more like the other girls and I. You know what I'm saying? It's a big turmoil. All the everything got. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because one went one way and the other. Yeah, it's a separation. It's a lack of. It's, it's a it's a growth pattern. Oh. Anytime you get to any form of growth, it, you go shed skin. Oh. If you look at any plant, any flower, any, it's just so crazy. It's like we taught to look in the sky when we pray. Why we don't look at the ground? Oh. Life. You know what I'm saying? Life is a life is under us. Not on the concrete slab, but in the grounds of the earth. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You go hit a, you go hit a tree with a with a bat is gonna bleed. Oh. Life. Life. Ah, so we get we get we get disconnected through the teaching of what what they what the, the program of what they taught us. Yeah. What what so tell me what's your goal, bro? Like I love the um. Man, I got business, goals, bro. So like, what's the my my goals? When you when you when you when you five years, what you see um five, doing? Five years, my business. Oh man, my business is going to be seven figure business a year, easy. All the scramble, the numbers, the base, all the numbers of what we going at now will be at six, will be at six figures a year now. Easy. in the first year, right? Easy, right. only because and that's just with a consistent, that's just consistent. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't my my goal is not even in the business of being able to touch the people and in the mix of being able to provide the fun other things that I'm trying to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be able to have the properties for all my nieces and nephews and right. kids also, or my child also. Right. You know what I'm saying? Also, be able to build upon the push forward on the other agendas of what's going on. Mm-hmm. My brother who just passed, he he just had three trucks, three box trucks. Mm-hmm. This weekend he'll go get him a semi, but he just right. he just right. he just yeah. got killed. Yeah. And I want to you know tap in, I want to tap into that. You know, you go as, as far you know like we spoke about. So this this past weekend, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, the other day ago, my brother got killed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Two of my, two of my friends got killed. My close friend, my brother, and my and my cousin. You know what I'm saying? These are my. You know what I'm saying these are my pillars. Like no. if anybody know, they know. You know what I'm yeah, saying. So it's yeah, like yeah. it's very hurtful, but it's like you have to constantly still push forward because the thing about us, we was the light for people because we showed that you can do other things too, right. way more right. than what's, what's going on. Right. Like right. when I say exposure, we lack people that look like us doing the things that we need to see done. Right. right. Because right. now once you see them from them faces and them positions, you believe you more. For, yeah. You believe more. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. It's so just why, a level of believing. So why you think that is though in our neighborhoods? Like you said, well, you, you got you got. Then the we never seen a cool. We was taught. We was taught. Well, I'm talking about 
as far as when we kill each other off. Like like you say, we, the homie had two trucks. He about to invest in something. He about yeah. to change. Life the still game. goes on. We still, mm. regardless of still how, where you're going, that people only see the back of you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like football. You get a flyer when you hit them in the back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't never. If you don't never run to the front to be able to get to see me front side, then it don't count. Right. You got to make sure you right. see the numbers in my chest. Right. That's just real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, that's how people see you. They only see from behind. Yeah. They caught up. They caught up in your past life or anything that you're not done and not. You know what I'm saying? They can't see where you're going at because they don't have the vision. Most yeah. people only see with their eyes and not their mind. You know what I'm saying? You can't even see if you don't live inside your mind. The 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 walls that you see. Are walls instead of steps. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. So now they become they only become uh, blocks once you right. use your mind to see right. things because right. 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 don't you don't see them once you go on where you going at. Gotcha. Vice gotcha. versa, once you see life through your eyes, you get caught up in everything. You get right. frozen. Right. Oh my God, look at all this what's going on. Yeah, X Y Z. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. You're not wow. able to attend on the move forward because you're not taught to see. You taught to live off your senses, but not off your biggest thing that you have, which is your mind. Right. right. If you if you if if te if, if thinking. Was taught in elementary school, just like, you know, <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. Just like any other subject, yeah. life would be so much life different. Life would be they so much different. Bro. Like, like what, uh, what Uncle Bob says, like, if you, <laughs> they say if you, uh, if you let kids, in the beginning of the school year, if you, if you let kids imagine what they want in their report you card. Bob Proctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Home, yeah, yeah. yeah, I like Bob Proctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he wrote. Yeah, he'll know. He, like, yeah. if, if, he said, like, if, um. But at the beginning of the school year, he'll have the kids imagine the, what the they imagine what the boss that they want to get yeah. and, and see what them type down. of behavior yeah. they have to do to get yeah. what they're trying yeah. to do and work from there. Yeah. And let them you know what I'm saying, let them see what I got to do to be able to yeah. get the marks that I'm looking for. Right. The you know mind what I'm saying? is so powerful. Man. The mind is so powerful. So you have to pre you have to put a pregame on what you're doing. Right. You have to put a preface on what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Bro, I man, I so appreciate it. So before I I I um you told me like like your goals as far as oh no I got business. to say that I got to say go that ahead, go ahead, so go ahead. separate you out like don't always have business goals you have they have to have life goals spirit goals that's body goals I know. and goals that's for the people I know. and before I go to anything else is goals for the people okay. you know what I'm saying the thing I understand the 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 key the key ad for the people is is add a value so you want to be able to spread the message in the midst uh -huh. of the people uh -huh. so uh -huh. my goal is I have a, um. I have a school that I'm putting together. Okay. What we That's teach. Up, what we teach. What we teach. Financial literacy. Mm -hmm. We teach. Uh, self care. Mm -hmm. Self love. Mm -hmm. We teach. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We teach in the midst of these things. So I, I want to be able to have these things out because the things that we miss not on communication sales, the importance of these things. Mm -hmm. It's like we lack understanding, mm -hmm. so we don't know these things. So once we bring forth these things, we can create the future generation yeah. of entrepreneurs, boss men, CEOs, instead yeah. of just workers in these people's factories. Right. Then also, like I say, I want to be able to keep the truckers going. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the 18. We got to keep, we got to, we're going to push forward. We're going to constantly just push forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to constantly push forward. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With, 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 with what my brother started. So we still going to do that, rather than take a small lump or whatever. It's going to, it's gonna fail. Y'all ain't, ain't gonna let the business die down. Yeah, to keep it going. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and also, like I said, so for the people, and also the thing I want to do that's really big is I want to be able to start in community banking. Okay. So I want to be able to pull together a few guys. You know what I'm saying? A few people in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? To be able to charge our own interest rates and be able to do our own our own loaning for the people inside the community, so we can we can go ahead and start cutting the cutting the string off our head. You know what I'm saying? Taking the, taking taking the people away from us because now it's like we don't need y'all. We can come provide. We can come provide this money for y'all. We can be a private money for lender for y'all. You know what I'm saying? As long as you have a uh uh uh, we won't really see your past. We won't see your past. We see opportunity. Mm -hmm. So as long as you got an opportunity, you ain't finna just come get the money. But as long as you got an opportunity, so we yeah, gonna present yeah, it to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you when you when you talk about stuff like that, do you ever think about or do you ever worry about? Because when I hear stuff like that, I'm I'm, I'm loving it because I think we have to do that to give back to our people. But then I think about the the Nipsies of the world, the people that try to. to stay Man, I done had I don't I don't been through so much in life to where I rather I rather if it was to go out like that I rather go like I rather go for my people straight than up. go for myself. Straight up, straight up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't take my, just take my I'm if, I'm you know what I'm saying if I'm already if yeah. if I'm already been I don't had experience of dealing with these things for mm -hmm. years so it's like. I went. I know what I'm saying. I ain't worried. That's the last of my words. Yeah. If that happened, that happened. That happened. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but I know what I was doing. I know what I was, I was doing. doing. I know yeah. I had to do. And wow. that mean, that mean, if I did, if that happened like that, that mean I did my job. I did my job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I call. I shook up enough. Yeah. I call. I shook yeah. up enough. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To make you want to make Take that move. Out. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got, I got that big. Yeah. And you Straight still up. ain't even going to knock me yeah. off. Straight you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm God's child. I'm, high, I'm his highest form of creation. I'm connected. So it ain't meant for you to knock me off. It ain't right. meant for me it ain't, it ain't meant for me to be right. nothing but the, right. the pine there for my people. Right. Man, I love that, bro. I love that, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I, you know, I always say that because it's that mentality that sometimes have our people come up yeah. and then we leave. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want to deal with that. But like you say, I, you, at the end of the day, I took myself out the community. I took myself out the community to try to do different things and conform for certain things and not do certain things. And it was like you don't get. You know what I'm saying? You you live off the love mm -hmm. that you get from the people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. imagine if you could be able to the love that you get from the people that you're able to provide life with these people. Right. Right. Come on, man. You're right. So, bro, before we go, but tell people where they can find you at, where they can get in touch with you about the business, about everything you're trying to do, bro. Let them know your social media handle. Let them know everything. Oh, I ain't even got no. Hey, I got me a little nifty little thing. I put my straight I put, up. I put my, <laughs> my flag. I put yeah. my um my business cards in there. But um, uh, no, nah, like I said, I'm Joseph Andrews. You can find me uh on on Facebook, Joe Andrews, Instagram, Mister Joe Andrews, um. You can contact you can contact me at nine zero four three seven zero three zero three eight. Um you can email me at booking at Mr. Joe Andrews dot com. Um I'm accessible. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the hood near you. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, straight up. Hey, well look, man, I, I sure appreciate you, bro. I appreciate man, look, you. Man, I hope y'all got something out of this interview. I know I did, you know what I'm saying? I, Oh, bro, came really drop some game on us, man. And believe. Y'all, man. You got to believe. Got look to past. believe. You got to look past whatever. Like, and the power took everything. And it took a lot of them to even come do this in the midst of what I got going on. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What we yeah. still dealing That's with. So it's thing. like. I appreciate that. So too. still being able to be a messenger that. in the midst of even when, when, the, when things still going on, it's like it's important to get that message out. Well, people need guidance. People just need to be able to see, yeah. to believe. It takes for people to put them big audacious goals out there for other yeah. people to scribe and have yeah. bigger goals. Yeah. It's called the blueprint. Yeah. Lay it down. Yeah. And if you missed it, if y'all missed something, I want you to understand. Like he said, it's a lot that just went on in his life within the last 48 hours. And bro still pushed through, come and, and, and talk about what it is that's going on. Because like he said, at the end of the day, life goes on. That don't mean you don't care. That don't mean I don't care. That don't mean I'm forgetting. I still got to serve my purpose. I still got to serve my purpose. You know what I'm saying? I still got to keep doing what God told me to do and we and, and, and deal with stuff. So, man, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, and the Servant King, T the Servant King on Servant King TV, we'll be back next week. Yo.